it, it kind of teaches us how far humanity could go. Sim you feel not just sympathy, but almost empathy of being in, just in the same atmosphere as these horrible things that have happened in the past that shouldn't have happened in the past. The scale of death, the scale of just people, just the emotions, the atmosphere that we're in right now, it's just really powerful. Like, n learning from textbooks, you can see numbers and figures. But here, you can feel the real thing, you can feel the emotions. You can see the marks on the walls and the bunks of the shelves and stuff like that, and you can really feel, like, it's not energy, but like, emotions still here. And everybody that has come today, like, with us, can just, you can see it in their faces, how, like, how deep it's touched some people. And it's important that this place, Auschwitz as a site, continues to exist because we're teachers your students, we all were at risk from Nazi persecution. As historians, we all want to empathise, but this really poses that the greatest challenge of historical empathy, you cannot put yourself in the shoes of somebody who's gone through the Holocaust, but coming to a site like this, what it can do is prompt you to ask very important questions about the past and about the present as well. We've been able to not empathise because we know it's very hard to be able to do that but we've had a little bit of a look and an insight into what it meant to survive here because we don't want to say live here, we want to say survival and this is part of our ongoing role and commitment to Holocaust education and championing being a Holocaust beacon school. The Holocaust education is important for it teaches mankind and young generation of how people suffered back in Nazi Germany and how not to repeat the actions that one dictatorship caused. And if we forget our history, history will actually repeat itself nowadays.